one's doing it straight over a box. There's no way. God, that is so sick. If you're the only one doing that in the world, you're killing it. This is legit. Hey guys, Michael Pytel here. Today, I want to go over some of my favorite world's firsts over the years. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is actually one of the most recent ones. In the beginning of this year, I think it was January... January 8th is when I posted it. Um, I posted this one up on my Instagram. This is actually a trick that started off as a joke and ended up being one of the favorite things that I've ever done on my scooter. Now, what it was was the world's first kick bar. So what I did is, as I was riding flat on the ground, I jumped up but left my scooter on the ground and I kind of karate kicked my handlebar to throw a bar spin, came back down, grabbed it, and rode away. Um, it, like I said, it, it started off as a joke. I would just throw it, probably honestly the past like two years before that, starting around like 2016, I would just throw it in afternoon sessions just here and there, just kind of mess around with it because I thought it was fun um, and it was always enjoyable to do. And, uh, and then one time I was hanging out at the ECX Scooter Shop Warehouse uh, one night with uh, my friends uh, Nick Tedrick and uh, Davin Horner. And I did it in front of Nick and he was like, yo, you got to get that right now. And uh, so I'd never actually like been as determined as that night to get it. I probably did it at least 30 different times until I finally stuck it. I'd gotten close a handful of those. And uh, when I actually landed it, like landing a new trick in general is super fun. But landing a trick that I hadn't seen before, um, that was just like, to me, just really interesting. It, it was an awesome feeling. So that definitely goes down in the books as one of my most enjoyable things that I've ever done. I throw it here and there, but you know, even though I've landed it, it's just so unpredictable and so inconsistent that like, no matter what, every time I land it, I get super stoked on it. it it's not like a, like a tail whip where once you learn it, you, you know, you dial it in and you have it pretty set. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting one for sure. And the cool part about it is, it's not that hard, really, if you devote some time to it. So a lot of people, and after I did it, Nick actually went and did it, and his looked amazing. He put a little bit more time into the filming of it. He was outside. The scenery looked a lot better as far as Instagram video. And Nick, as a rider, is one of the best in the world. So his video got a ton of views. And between the two of us posting that on Instagram, I did see a lot of you guys go and try it. And if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna post the clip right there. But even if this is your first time seeing it, I really encourage you guys to at least go out and try it. Cause it's super, super fun. And it's something that everybody can do at any skill level. Now, the next one up is actually a super long time ago, and this one was a trick that personally, you know, I really enjoy. So this trick is actually the world's first Pytel flip. So this trick does actually have my last name as the title of the flip. The reason for that is that at the time, and this was probably about eight years ago, I'm gonna have to go on my phone and look at the date for that, but pretty much, um, what it was was a new rotation that hadn't been done before so the scooter I actually bring it kind of in like an oval it starts going behind my back and then it comes around you know more or less like in front of my face so it wasn't an umbrella it's not a bri flip it's you know not a scooter flip it's its own rotation and that's why I named it the Pytel flip. Now I threw this a lot of different times, mostly um, at best trick contests. So all the best trick contests up and down the East Coast, anybody that was at those contests, any of the OG riders that would go, any of my old friends that would go, pretty much all of them knew me for this trick because when I went to contests, all I cared about was best trick and having a good time. And uh, when I finally stuck it, it it was an awesome feeling, of course. So I actually threw that in the end of my like sponsor video um, back when um, I was still like getting new as far as like exposure and stuff like that into the sport. Um, and uh, but pretty much it's that rotation. And you'll see it in the clip right there. Um, but pretty much it's that its own rotation. And then I naturally heal, so that's why that trick 
is has only been done by a handful of other people because you have to throw it heel side to do it properly. So that gives it a really nice, unique look and also an extra challenge. Now I've done this fly out, I've done it over boxes and I've done it in an air. I'm also gonna throw one of my favorite footage of this trick was filmed at Louisville, Kentucky. It was one of the Razor Global Domination Tour videos and I did it in an air. Back on I actually ended up winning best trick with it, so that was awesome because I believe that was the first time that I landed it in competition. Um, before I'd landed it on film and posted the video and stuff like that, but this was the first time because best tricks and at a contest, the hype of that, the feel of being around other scooter riders, like-minded people, having that kind of environment is is unspeakable, you know? It's something that you can't really describe. What was he doing, a buttercup? A 360 buttercup? No, 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 no. This is what he was doing. The Pytel flip. He has created, Michael has created his own trick here. I want you to send it, Michael. Look how crazy this is, bro. He's the only one in the world that's sending this. Gosh, yo, instant replay on that. Oh my god, I gotta give you props. You're the only one doing that in the world and you're killing it. Four people that have done it, but like, I, there's I no one that does it like you. I've seen one on Instagram. There's no one like that. No one's doing it straight over a box. There's no way. I've seen a fly out once on Instagram, but I don't. That doesn't count. Not like this. This is legit. Holy crap! And the third and final one uh, that I'm going to talk about is one that was most remembered and most duplicated for me. Uh, this was actually the world's first double scooter backflip. Now, don't become a keyboard warrior quite yet till you watch that clip. Now, what I meant by double scooter backflip was not that I rotated twice. It was that I was holding two scooters at the same time, one in each hand, and one on each foot. So this again too was something more or less for fun because if you're not having fun in your scooter, you're not doing it right. So uh, that one that one was interesting. So this one was on one of the old ECX at Ohio Dreams uh, trips. Um, and all I can really remember from that day was how stoked my friend Tommy Christiana was when I landed it. And he couldn't believe and I couldn't believe that I landed that second try. Now I did it into the foam pit a few times, but at Ohio, there wasn't really a good fly out for dropping in with two scooters. So I actually ended up doing it out of a half pipe into transition. So not only did I land it to wood, but I landed it into training. So I'm super proud of that and super stoked on that. Since that day, I've only ever done it fly out. Um, another video of it, one of my most recent ones, was actually last year, 2017. Same trip, but after Ohio Dreams, we actually went to Changa Skate Park, which is only an hour away from camp at Ohio Dreams. And I did it fly out. I was riding with John Cross. We were doing Instagram uh, videos. And uh, I'm going to roll that clip. Ready? All right, Michael, I'm ready. This is number two. <laughs> bro, that's ridiculous! Oh my gosh, bro. Hey, you know what? If you keep up bangers like that, you could get sponsored. Do you think? I, I, nope. I you might. If you keep it up, dude, what? I think you could do it. You, you didn't get my air. Oh, I didn't get your air. Honestly, the air is harder than the flip. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta film this air. Just keep, oh, keep oh, it going. Oh yeah, I got you. Right oh now. my right god, now. this is crazy, dude. Yeah, that flip was nothing. Yo, get it? You could get sponsored. Don't mess up. Yo! Alright, ready? Ready? Alright, yo, he's got something coming up. What's going on? What's going on? 
<laughs> All right, yeah, so that one's really fun. It's always like an awesome thing. Sometimes I'll be at the skate park and I'll just grab somebody else's scooter and just kind of go around, cruise around with it because not only do I have fun doing the backflips with two scooters, but um, I have a lot of fun like dropping in and doing airs and lip slides and stuff like that while I have two. It's always just like a nice laugh and something fun to mess around with. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it, kind of looking back and seeing some of the stuff that I've done over the years. Now, I'm really curious. Down in the comment section below, which of the three tricks that I talked about today were your personal favorite? I can't wait to go through and read to see what you guys think. And if you really like this video, please hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe, and then tell your friends, and I'll keep making videos like this. I'll keep making riding videos and other types of videos. I got a lot of stuff planned. I'm launching up my YouTube backup. I'm gonna be posting a lot of videos, so make sure you're staying tuned, have post notifications turned on so that you can see all the content I'm posting up. I really appreciate any support that you guys give. Thank you so much.